Welcome back to Fur Affairs Transit Review. Let's get started. Our main stories are, firstly, the continuation of the bus security grant by the government, and secondly, the continued misery of Transpanel Express travellers. So, let's get into it. The continuation of the bus recovery grant. At the final hour, the government has announced that Covid era pandemic funding, which supports bus operators around the country, will continue whilst Patronus continues to recover. For example, in West Yorkshire, Patronus still sits at 87% of pre pandemic levels. With this shortfall, there is a continued concern, both in the region and across the country, that without the continuation of this funding, even further, their operators will begin to make cuts to bus services prioritising profitable routes to stay afloat over maintaining unprofitable but vital services. Though the government has faced criticism as the decision was only announced on the 17th of February, leaving just a few weeks for operators and local transport authorities to adapt to the change. As a result, many operators had already made plans to make service changes, reductions and even cuts of entire routes in preparation for the recovery grant to end. After the announcement, the Mayor of West Yorkshire commented, I'm relieved that the government has finally listened to mayors and taken action to stop some bus services from being axed in our regions, but this 11th hour response has come too late for some communities, with some bus operators announcing further cuts to services. Arguing, We need a sustainable, long-term funding plan to save buses across the UK, not a sticking plaster. The government must address this immediately and use the time it has bought with the latest announcement to make real change. The funding will continue until the end of June this year, but after then is planned to be withdrawn, which has left many across the country with a sense of dread and uncertainty about the future of their bus services. The continued misery of transparent travellers. So this issue has now been transpiring for around three or four months in the north. Still, things at Transparent Express are getting better, if at what feels like forever for the people who depend on their services. The company have asked that their passengers and users hold out a bit longer as more staff are trained so that more regular and reliable services become the mainstay. Still, commuters and northern politicians have had enough of the poor service from the operator and hundreds of cancellations made over the last few months by them. The pressure on the operating company, owned by First Group, has been mounted, with some even calling on the Department for Transport to initiate the process of stripping the franchise from First Group. Similarly to how the DFT currently runs both Northern and LNER under this arrangement. Though, whilst the disruption occurs, the TRU or Transpennine Route Upgrade scheme of works is on the way. This upgrade of the main Transpennine route, including electrification and several works to increase overall speed and punctuality, is actively being implemented, even if the expected comprehensive delivery is currently set for 2041. In other news, Transdev Blaisfield has withdrawn from their contracted services around Yeadon and Menston, with the vehicles being sent to Lancashire to support their other operations in Burnley. Connections buses have taken on most of the services, but some routes have seen the axe. Funding from the mayoral adult education budget in West Yorkshire has supported the education of more bus drivers for the region, with 120 new drivers being initiated into the local industry, helping to fill the driver shortage locally. Correspondingly, the advocacy group Cellwrap has been in the local news after meeting in Westminster about the reinstatement of the Skipton to Cone Railway that we just covered last week if you want more detail. And finally, to end with some good news, the 840 bus route from Leeds to Whitby, dubbed as one of the most scenic bus routes in the country, has been saved from the axe, as operator Transit Blaisfield has revealed that the £2 single fare has sufficiently increased ridership. They plan to continue running the service until the autumn, at which point it will be reconsidered again. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for choosing Jurafair, and I hope you've had a good week.